This episode of Couch Chat is brought to you by Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so unless you've been living under a rock for the last like two weeks, you probably know the story by now about the woman that was going on a date and she turned her camera on to complain about her date because he was trying to take her to the Cheesecake Factory. Now come to find out later on, the guy said he was trying to take her someplace else, but that she was late. And by the time she was ready to go, the reservations were gone. So he just thought on his feet and said, hey, Cheesecake Factory, it got a bunch of choices and it's a, it's a pretty decent restaurant. Like it's not low tier. You can dress up and be classy and still fit in there. And this girl was throwing a fit about, well, I'm a queen and you know, I don't deserve to be taken to the Cheesecake Factory. What would my friends say? So <laughs> there's been plenty of commentary about that. I, I don't want to go into that too much, but I just hope that Cheesecake Factory is taking advantage of this moment in time because Everything on my timeline, on my Facebook, YouTube, TikTok for the last week and a half now have been people commenting about Cheesecake, specifically about how most women have been commenting how they actually like the Cheesecake Factory. They love going there. They love the variety of choices, the options, all the great food. And there have been plenty of women that have also said, I my, our, my first date with my now husband was at Cheesecake Factory. Like, it's, women are making it sound like if you want to find a girl that's going to be down for you and marry you, start off by taking her to the Cheesecake Factory. Like, you cannot begin to buy the amount of publicity that Cheesecake Factory has been getting ad nauseum simply because of a girl saying, I don't do Cheesecake Factory, and the world at large being like, but have you been to Cheesecake Factory? Like, they got great choices. They actually have relatively affordable food, but also some expensive items on there, but they don't go wrong. Most of the stuff they have tastes surprisingly great. They got great drinks. They got great food. They got great desserts, like a bunch of cheesecakes. So people are jumping on her about this and I am all here for it because guys, let me tell you, if you're a girl, not even your girl, if a woman you're taking on a first date is going to complain about what you are putting your money aside for and are complaining about a place where they have an abundance of options and there's a lot of good food because it doesn't look a certain way or you're not spending enough money and that she expects you to spend two to $300 on dinner, I got news for you, guy. It, women's expectations for you only go up. So if you start lower tier, then it's not going to go up incrementally. But if you start at like $300 for a plate, she's going to only expect more along the way. And I got news for you guys. Like you can date women that'll appreciate you and you spend a lot less money. But anyway, so... I saw somebody post it online. Um, I, I don't know if this is a legit list that somebody put together, but it says, here is a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date to. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list. So I'm assuming this is the person that's like, <laughs> like a person that's like, please let these guys know about the trash restaurants we won't go to. So I'll read some of the list. So number one, Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, your house, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster. These are, Red Lobster's amazing. Those cheddar biscuits, uh, anyway. Uh, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, The Gym, Church, <laughs> Starbucks, Coffee Dates, which is the same as Starbucks to me. Uh, ice Cream Dates, I'm lactose intolerant, so I actually agree with that one. Uh, family Functions, I also agree, I, I, I've always said, guys, don't do families until you're they're the girlfriend and even then wait three more months after that. So I get so so not all these are bad, but like the restaurant ones I'm like, what why are you tripping? Uh movie night, like Netflix, Hulu, etc. Somewhere that requires a long drive. But what if the long drive took them to like a, a very expensive restaurant? Would they would it be okay then? Uh let's see. Bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar. I don't smoke, so I get that. A bar for just drinks, waffle house. Or a sports event. Is that all there is? Yeah, and a sports event. So, so it's just funny that, you know, you have, a, you have a, a gender out there that is upset these days that gentlemen don't even ask them on dates. And then, as a guy, when you do ask them on dates, and they're like, wait, where do you want to go? You're thinking, I just want to be able to get to know her, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of money because I don't know if she's worth that money. And I don't know if she's going to like me back, but someplace we can sit down, still get a decent meal. But really, the, the focus is supposed to be we're getting to know each other and see if there's chemistry there. And so I'm going to pick 
chilies because they got a decent variety of stuff. And for women that are watching this, here's what guys are thinking, all right? At least in my head. If I was to choose a Cheesecake Factory Applebee's, my thought would be this, is that I don't know her well enough to know all of what her favorite foods are. I don't know if she has any allergies of any kind. And so I'm going to try to pick a place that has a decent enough variety to where she can definitely pick something out on the menu that she likes, but also during the course of that first date, I can really find out what her likes and dislikes are about food, what her allergies are, what food she just absolutely hates, and then I'll know for the next time, I can pick the more nuanced restaurants. For example, with uh, Cheesecake Factory, right? I'm lactose intolerant, okay, fine. So if she were to take me on the date, she'd know, hey, I can't eat cheese, I'm lactose intolerant, but it's Cheesecake Factory. I can find hamburgers, salads, uh, spaghettis, plethoras of other things, fishes that I definitely can eat. And then while we're there, I can say, oh, I love desserts, but I can't do cheesecake. But I'm really a big fan of like apple stuff. And then the next time, I, we'd be able to go someplace where they have apple stuff. That to me sounds like reasonably sane. So why women are thinking, okay, on this first date, like for example, let's say I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take her out to a very, very expensive restaurant. I don't know, I'll take her to an expensive steakhouse and, and, I'm, and we'll go and she'll have a good time. And then I find out, oh, she's, she does, she's a vegetarian. Or she has a thing about animals that get killed a certain way and she only eats chicken. But now I have to spend money at this expensive ass place, even though she's not going to want half the food. Like, so that, ladies, that's what we're thinking. We're thinking, we're trying to cover all bases. We, cause, cause we also hear that, you know, women want us to lead. They don't want us to tell, they don't want to have to tell us all the stuff to do on these dates. And so with that, we could want to do like a seafood restaurant, but we're thinking, oh, but wait, what if she's allergic to seafood? Mm, okay. Um, Okay, what about a burger? Oh, wait, wait. What if she's a vegetarian? You know what? I'm going to pick a place that has a variety of options and then I can see what she chooses and we can have a conversation. So these guys are smart. So all that to say, guys, I hope Cheesecake's getting their money. Cheesecake Factory, if you're watching this, I like you guys also. The women that I've dated have had no problem going to Cheesecake Factory. We all love it. This woman's tripping and it shows you that she definitely is, she has a higher view of herself than is warranted. Because I believe women should have self-esteem about themselves, but I think where it gets uh, convoluted is where they're tying how people view them and their self-esteem to where they're taking them on a date. And dudes taking a woman to a cheesecake factory does not mean that he doesn't have a lot of money or that he sees her as less than. It's just, in our head, the date's supposed to be about talking and getting to know you. If you happen to get food, it's a bonus. Well, we could do this in the park. We could do, hey, all guys could just be saying, we're going to do a walk in the park and talk. And, that, and, it's, and they spend no money and that be it. But we try to throw a little bit of money your way because we want you to have somewhat of an enjoyable time. But to, guys, if you they, if you go out with, with a woman that's downing, uh, the, dissing the Red Lobster or, or the Cheesecake Factory or even like the movies. Like I've, I've done first date movies, had a good time. I've done, uh, not family functions, I've done bowling for a first date, had a good time. She had a good time. Like, so if you're dating women that are being difficult, also understand that's just part of their trauma. They're probably subconsciously putting barriers in place because they really, they want to date somebody, but subconsciously they're afraid of getting hurt. And so they're throwing things out there that are designed to actually lessen their chances of getting a date. All right. So recognize that's going to happen because I gonna tell you now, there are an abundance of women out there that will go out with you at any of these places that I just mentioned just to get to know you. If they're, if they're dismissing that, then... They're probably going to be like hard to deal with in the long run. And they're doing you a favor by showing themselves, showing you reasons why you should not pick them. All right. So hopefully the guys, you've enjoyed this video. Cheesecake Factory, keep doing your thing. Uh, I can't eat any desserts because I'm lactose intolerant, but you have some great hamburgers on the menu. They're great. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. How, how do you feel about Cheesecake Factory as a place to take a woman on a date? And just, do you like Cheesecake Factory as a guy in general? Like, do you like their food? What do you like about them? Like, let me know in the comments, you know? And uh, for more of these shows... Uh, subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Harry Wilmington. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.